Hello and welcome back, dear learners. In this series, since we have been discussing about various interesting aspects of the Russian language, the origin of the Russian language, the Russian alphabet, and an introduction to the Russian phonetics have been discussed in a very detailed manner. Now you know that in the Russian alphabet that we have 33 letters out of which there are 21 consonants and 10 vowels plus 2 signs. You also know that how these consonants and vowels are pronounced individually as well as when they are combined together. With the combination of these letters of the Russian alphabet, we have seen that how many new Russian words as well as several other expressions have been learned. We have seen the role of pronouns in Russian such as the personal pronouns, the possessive pronouns and the demonstrative pronouns. We have seen the usage of shto and kto. As you know that in Russian we have two categories where all nouns are being classified. There are inanimate and animate nouns like shto and kto. We usually ask about them with the help of these questions. Shto eta, what is this? And kto eta, who is this? With the help of these important aspect, we have classified all existing nouns. For example, if it is a man, we say kto eta, eta chila vyak. We have also seen the usage of shto eta. For example, if it is a pen, we say shto eta, eta ruchka. Here, if we pay attention to the usage of stress as well as the usage of intonation, we understand that both of them play a vital role in the Russian speech. For making sentences, simple sentences and interrogative sentences, we saw the usage of intonation. Eta maya komnata, eta moi drug, eta moi brat, eta maya mama. Here we have seen the usage of stress. Certain nouns like malako, yablaka, etc are fine examples of stress signs and their usage in Russian speech. Whereas, etavashbat, here we have seen that the role of intonation plays its vital role especially when the sentence is interrogative. We have seen the usage of da and nyat while making sentences of affirmative and negative. Etavashbrat, da, etamoy brat. Here, after the usage of the, we have a pause and we make a simple sentence. Whereas, eta vash brat, niet, eta ni moi brat. Here, we have seen the usage of niet and nie. Accordingly, you have also made your own sentences. With the help of these sentences, you have used in the dialogues and texts. Further, we have discussed about the usage of akomanatyom. Since now we know that in Russian we have the nominative case or the imichil nipadyash as well as we have seen the usage of the prepositional case which is also known as the pradlozh nipadyash. In pradlozh nipadyash we use pradlog or the prepositions va and na depending upon the context they are translated as in, at or on. We now know there are some universal rules applied when to use va and when to use na. Like in the case of name of the town, city, country, etc., we use va. Likewise, ya jivu flondane, ya jivu v Amerike, ya jivu v Russia, ya jivu v Inji, etc. Here, nouns like London, flondane, America, v Amerike, India, v Inji and Russia, Vrasi. These are the changes we see in the endings of these nouns, especially when they are used in the prepositional case. We have also seen the usage of the adjectives. As we very well know that the nouns and adjective endings, they qualify with each other. For example, Tsilavik, which is a masculine gender noun, it qualifies with Kharoshi, 
which is an adjective of masculine gender. Kha roshi chila vyak. A kom vi du maje, ya du mayu a kha roshim chila vyakan. Bliski, which means near or which is nearer to you. Bliski drug. A close friend. Ya du mayu a swayom bliskam druge. I am thinking about my closest or close friend. So, here we have also seen the usage of soi since it has also been changed into swayom. We have also seen these kind of changes when we talked about the usage of the feminine gender nouns and adjectives. For example, gasudar svennaya shkola. Maya mama rabotet va gasudar svennaya shkolye. So, here we have used the preposition v and Gasudar Svennai Shkola has been changed into Gasudar Svennai Shkolye. Here you also see the changes in the adjective ending and the noun ending, but the neuter gender endings largely remain same. But since you know that in the neuter gender there are several nouns which does not go under any change like Balshoi Polye, a Balshom Polye, Polye remains same. Likewise, more, a krasna more, more remains same. So, accordingly, now you must be having a fair idea when to use and how to use these adjectives and noun endings. We will be discussing more about the usage of such verbs which are used in the prepositional case as well as in a very important aspect of Russian language called glagoli dvizhenya. We know that we use several verbs like Vaspaminach, Gavarich, etc., when we talk about them in the usage of prepositional case. Achyom vi Gavariche, Achyom vi Rasgavari Vaiche, Achyom vi Raska Jiche, etc. Accordingly, it can also be used with Akom, which means about whom. Now, since we were discussing about the usage of Glagoli Dvijenia in the previous session, we will be discussing more about Glagoli Dvijenia or the verbs of motions like Ichi Khajij and Yekhaj and Yezjij. As Ichi and Yekhaj, they belong to group 1, which indicates a movement in a particular direction, whereas Khajij and Yezjij indicates repetitive to and fro as well as multiple directions. Accordingly, we have seen that how these verbs of motions are being conjugated in their forms as when they are conjugated with personal pronouns like yaidu, tijosh, onanajyot, mijom, vijyoche and anidut. Accordingly, we have seen the usage of khajit, yakhaju, tikhojesh, onanakhojet, mikhojim, vikhojiche and anikhojet. We have a very fair idea that how these verbs of motions are being conjugated in past forms. For each it is shol, which is an exception. Ya shol, ti shol, on shol. Ya shla, ti shla, anashla, muishli, vishli and anishli. Accordingly, you can also conjugate them in past forms when we talk about khadij, yekhaj and yesij. Ya khadil, on khadil, ana khadila, Anikajile, ya yekhal, on yekhal, ana yekhala, and ani yekhali, and yezjil, ya yezjil, on yezjil, ana yezjila, and ani yezjili. And with the help of certain indications like the usage of kashdi, inagda, chasta, etc., we use the verbs of motion of second group, that is khajich and yes, this needs to be remembered in a correct and sequential manner, especially when they are conjugated with the help of personal pronouns. Now, since now we will be discussing about the usage of several other nouns and adjectives, especially in a text form. In the previous sessions, we have started discussing about the usage of certain verbs like chitaj and lubich along with certain verbs of feminine gender. These nouns of feminine gender will be used in this text, so that you have a fair idea that 
in the accusative case or the vinichil nipadesh how these nouns are changing. Let us pay attention to the text again and understand what are the changes these nouns are undergoing especially when they are used with certain verbs like chitaj, lubich etc. Please also pay attention to the usage of the verbs of motion. Here we will be discussing about this text. Please pay attention to the new expressions and words and their intonations and the stress sign as well as these verbs when they are used in their own conjugated forms. My love, my, I mean sorry, my brother loves very much the village. That is why here we have used the verb lubich. Accordingly, we have used an expression moi brat o chin lubit jirevnyu tam imunaravitsa chisti vostu there he likes the fresh air shiro kepalya wild fields bal shi zilioni jirevya big green trees here we have used certain expressions in plural like shiro kepalya whereas we know that polye it is the singular form. Shirokia palya, balshi zilionia jirevia, jereva, as it is called in Russian for tree, has been changed into plural again and called balshi zilionia jirevia. Jirevnia nitak shumna, kakf gorajya. Here we have done a comparison between the village life and the city life as we are using an expressions. In the villages, it is not as noisy as in the cities. Tam sio chikha ispa koena. Tam we are indicating for the jirevnya or the village. Sio chikha ispa koena. Everything is quiet and peaceful. Nasha babushka jivyot jirevnya. Our grandmother lives in the village. Вот другая причина, почему брат любит ездить в деревню. And that is why the brother likes to go to the village. Потому что там живет наша бабушка. Because our grandmother lives there. So, in this text, we have used several such verbs like любить in its conjugated form as мой брат очень любит деревню. Нравится. Tam imu naravitsa chisti vostok. Then we have used certain other expressions like jirevnya nitak shumna for noisy shumna and for which is not noisy we can use nitak shumna or ochin sikha e spakoina. Then we have used the verb rich in its conjugated form for babushka. Nasha babushka jivyot jirevnya. Here we can see the usage of the preposition v jirevnya. Accordingly, then we have another expressions like what drugaya prichina pachimu brat lubit yezdich jirevnyu kajdai leta. Here, if you pay attention to the usage of verbs of motion, we have used kajdai leta brat lubit yezdich kuda jirevnyu. That is why you can also use such verbs of verbs of motion in your own dialogues and text. We can also make the same text with the help of certain other expressions and words as well as the verbs which we have learned in the earlier sessions. Now you can understand the meaning of the entire text. Let us repeat once again. My brother loves very much the village. Tam imun ravitsa chisti vozduk, shirokia palya balshia zilioni jirevia. There he likes the fresh air, the wide fields, big green trees. Jirevnia nitak shumna kakf gorajia. In the village, it is not noisy as in the city. Tam sio chikha ispa koina. There it is very quiet and peaceful. Nasha babushka jivyot jirevnya. Our grandmother lives in the village. Vot drugaya prichina. 
Почему брат любит ездить в деревню каждое лето? And that is the second reason why brother loves to go to the village every summer. Dear learners, now through this text we attempted to express a certain emotion with the help of new words, expressions and verbs of motions. Along with that we have also seen the usage of other general verbs like любить, нравится, reach in their own conjugated forms. You can also use certain other verbs which are taught to you in the earlier sessions. Here in this text we have used possessive pronouns also especially when we used this in the text as наша бабушка тоже живет в деревне. Вот другая причина, почему брат любит ездить в деревню в каждое лето. So, these kind of sentences you can also make with the help of these verbs of motion. And that is why when we use the verbs of motion, we have used it with каждое лето. And we know that such words like каждый, иногда, часто, etc., the second group of verbs of motions that is khajij and yezjij are to be used in their conjugated forms. Let us now go to the next section and learn about the usage of certain such words, expressions and verbs which are used in this text. As in Russian they play a very vital role because with the help of new words verbs and expressions only, you can make and express your own emotions. Let us understand the new words and expressions and verbs which are used in this text one by one. Please pay attention to the intonations and spelling of these new words and expressions while I read them for you. Nravitsa means to like. Minya ochi nravitsa Delhi. I like Delhi very much. It is always used with Nya. Vam naravitsa vash gorad. Da minya naravitsa svoi gorad. Accordingly, you can also use naravitsa in your own sentences. Chisti. Fresh, clean. It can be used with a noun. For example, vozduk. Or simply, we can also use chisti with some other nouns like for example we can say chistaya vada chistaya atmosphere such other examples are be used in our own sentences ya lublu pich chistuyu vodu i love to drink clean water unas niat chisti vadu especially when we use niat we use raji chilni padesh and that is why we using these expressions like that and accordingly we can use it with chisti vozduk. Nashim Goraje, yes chisti vozduk. In our city we have fresh air. Sivodnya vozduk nitak chisti. Today the air is not so clean. Rika gang ochin chistaya rika. The Ganges is a very clean river or simply such as Chistaya Vada Nibivayat Prikye Gang or right now or presently it is not very clean water found in, in the river Ganges or certain such examples you can use with the help of prepositions as well as whatever the knowledge of Russian you have acquired through these lessons in your own sentences. Let us go to the next sentence now and understand the usage of these words and expressions. Let us make a few more sentences with Shirokai Polye. Unas Jirevnye Bivayat Ochin Shiroki Palya. In our village, we have many big fields or wide fields. Shiroki Palya. 
Shiroka pole, it is in singular and accordingly with the noun pole, we have used Shiroka because it because it belongs to the neutagent. In the city, we have very wide roads. Moskve, Ulitsi, Ochin Shiroke. In the Moscow, the roads are very wide. Or simply, you can use of daily. Yes, Nyaskalka Mista, Gijie, Ochin Shiroke, Darogi, or Ulitsi. You can also use Shiroke, Darogi. Shirokie ulitsi as we have them in singular as Shirokaya daroga wide road Shirokai ulitsi Shirokie ulitsi means wide streets. Let us go to the next expression and understand the meaning of Shumna as we have discussed the usage of Shumna as noisy. Sichas goraje ochin Shumna right now in the city it is very loud. And accordingly, you can also use shumna in other sentences like Palshi Garadak Etasikda Shumna. In big cities, it is always noisy. Jiremnyak Nitak Shumna. In villages, it is not that noisy. Accordingly, you can use the adverb or simply the noun shumna in your own sentences. Yanulu blue kakda eta shumna. I don't like it or I don't love it when it is noisy. So you can also use such other expressions with the help of these new words in your own sentences. Let's go to the next word spakoena. Spakoena, which means quiet, or you can also translate it as peaceful, like Mininaravitsa Kagda eta spakoena. I like it when it is quiet. Is this atmosphere ochin spakoina? It is very quiet atmosphere here. You can also use spakoina. Fnochi bivait spakoine ulitsi. At night, the roads are quiet. Accordingly, fjirevne bivait spakoina rizn. In the villages, it is quiet life or peaceful life. Ya sigda michtayu. I always dream about peaceful or quiet life. So, these kind of expressions you can also use in your own sentences, especially with the usage of the verbs as well as the expressions which are being learned by you in the prepositional case. Since reason, which means life, belongs to the feminine gender, that is why. Spakoinaya reason has been changing into Spakoinai reason. Achom, a Spakoinai reason. Let us go to the next word, Prichina, which means reason. You can also use Prichina, like we have used Prichina in the text. What is the Prichina? Pachimu moi brat lubit yezich derevnu kajdai leta. Patamushta nasha babushka jvyot tam. Prichina as it is known as reason. Ya sigda khaju urok. Vot eta prachina pachimu ya stavayu rana utram. Stavach means to rise or to wake up. I wake up every day early in the morning because patamushta ya khaju v urok or you can use vinstitut Sholu Kashde Utra. Such kind of examples you can also use along with the help of verbs of motion like Khajit and Ichi. Ya Khaju Kashde Utra Vinstitut. Vot eta Pritina Pachimu Ya Liblu Uchitsa. And that is the reason why I love studies. Ya Liblu Uchitsa Patamushta Kashde Jen Ya Khaju Sholu. So, accordingly, you can also make these kind of sentences while using the verbs, verbs of motion as well as all these new words and expressions in your own sentences. Let us pay attention to the next word, Pachimu, which means why. 
Почему тебе это надо? Why it is important or needful to you? Почему it is always answered with потому что? Потому что я это хочу. Because I want this. Like we have used почему брат хочет ездить в деревню каждое лето. Why brother wants to go to the village every summer? So, you can also use почему and потому что always together. Whenever this question is asked, it will be asked with почему. You need to answer it with потому что because. Сегодня мне надо уйти раньше. Here we have used уйти, у which indicates exit. Сегодня мне надо уйти раньше. Today I need to go early. Почему? Why? Потому что у меня есть важная работа. I have an important work. You can also use these kind of expressions in your own day-to-day -day communication. And as we have promised, we will be discussing more about the usage of such other words, verbs and expressions and of course, the prefixes in the verbs of motion. Let us go to the next section and understand the usage of gije and kuda. As you know that gije and kuda are two different questions like gije are asked to indicate where and kuda is asked to indicate where to. Like gije vi živioche ya živu v Delhi and kuda vi živioche ya idu v Delhi. If it has been Moscow, we would have used gije vi živioche ya živu v Moskvia and kuda vi yezdiche ya yezhu maskbu. Accordingly, you can also use them in different aspects. With this, we would like to conclude the session here. We will be discussing more about the usage of verbs of motions in their conjugated forms as well as when they are used with prefixes. Thank you.